Hello everyone, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this video, I will discuss about paradigm in research. Okay, so paradigm is basically a set of assumptions and beliefs that we as researchers bring into our research. Paradigm consists of ontological and epistemological assumptions. Ontology is one's view about reality and existence, while epistemology is one's view about how knowledge is acquired. Now that we know what paradigm is, we can discuss it further about the types of paradigm. This paradigm holds the assumption that reality is external or independent from us, so here, knowledge is treated as something that is objective and can be obtained deductively. This paradigm uh, differ in a sense that they do not agree with the idea that there is this absolute objective truth, but rather we can only get closer to the truth. This paradigm can be said as anti-positivist because it believes that reality is subjective and that people construct their own meaning of reality. This paradigm views reality as political, socially constructed, and that it serves the interests of certain group of people. Therefore, what we know or knowledge is basically determined by those in power and not the actual truth. This paradigm uh, views reality as more fluid, it's constantly negotiated and debated. So uh, knowledge is seen more as what works at the time or what can be practiced. Now, the question would be, why does this matter? Well, as a researcher, of course, we have our own paradigm, right? By identifying, by being aware about pa our paradigm in this research, it can help us to explain why we chose this research designs and why we chose this uh, methods. Chris will also discuss this. Uh, the type of paradigm held will often lead to embracing a strong qualitative, quantitative, or mixed method approach in their research. So for instance, let's say we have this problem about students' low achievement at school. If we approach this by using positivist paradigm, it will be more likely that we will apply the quantitative method. It needs to be remembered that not all papers provide this uh, paradigm explicitly. However, Creswell suggested that for researchers to explicitly state their paradigm, especially for like proposal. It can consist of uh, the philosophical paradigm, the paradigm itself, and then the basic definition of that paradigm, and lastly, how the paradigm shaped your approach to research. So we have discussed about paradigm and we can see how important it is for us as researchers. Please do check out more other readings to understand further about paradigm. And I hope this video gives you a little bit insight before jumping in further into the world of academic research.